Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Karma and a happy, happy new year to you. This is the first episode of 2024 and it is also episode 60 of Coffee with Karma. How exciting I've been doing this for 60 episodes. I'm coming up on my 100th. I'll have to do something special, right? Hi, my name is Karma Spence and I help entrepreneurs write a client attracting book in 90 days or less. And today I'm going to be sharing five ways that you can squeeze the juice out of your book for your business. So, I, and I've decided to continue with the five things because that like kind of reels me in a little bit, <laughs> keeps me to under 10 minutes if I can do that. Yeah. Because this is a much more casual podcast than my other podcast, The Author Switch. So, one way. Now, this is an obvious, obvious number one is a networking tool. Now, most people think when you hear, oh, your book is a networking tool, they think of it, oh, it's a big business card and I hand it out to people. And you can do that. You can do that. But you don't have to. You can use your book as a networking tool, even if you don't have a single copy on you. And I've done this. Basically, when people find out that you're an author of a book, their first question is usually, oh, what's your book about? Unless that's what you just happened to say. Sometimes I'll say, oh yeah, I wrote a book about that. And they're like, oh really? Tell me more. People are intrigued by authors. And it's so funny because I, I have people that I interact with who, who aren't authors. They don't want to be authors. That's not their, that's not their sphere. You know, for me, it's completely normal, but, and, and they're just so impressed. They're like, I know an author. I know an author. So just the fact that you're an author gives you leverage that you don't have if you are not an author. So you can use your book as a networking tool, even if you don't have a copy on you, even if it's only an ethereal ebook, it doesn't matter. You are an author and that makes you special. And it raises the bar in people's eyes for who you are and what you have to offer in the world. Number two, it can create additional revenue streams. So yes, there, there are the royalties. I mean, you're gonna get royalties if it sells copies, but most of the time you're not getting a lot of royalties. Now there are people who are making like $200, $500 a month selling one book. They're probably not getting that from royalties, but they some of them say they are, and and that I'm not saying that can't happen. It can happen, but most people don't sell enough in a month to like pay a bill. I don't, but that's probably because I'm not marketing my books either, because I've moved on to other things, which is why I came up with my idea framework because I don't want you to have this nice little portfolio of books that you don't care about. <laughs> What I mean by additional revenue streams is that your book inspires other things. Most of the money that people make off their book is off of the, the back end, so to speak. Someone reads their book, starts following them, buys one of their digital products, and eventually hires them to coach them or to do speak at their event or to something like that. People who are making good money as an author are usually making it in speaking fees, coaching fees, and additional digital products. And it's that book that brings those people into your world. And, the, and your book, because it's out on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and Smashwords, is reaching people that you wouldn't reach by your other marketing channels. So books are very powerful. Second is client education. You could create a book that helps educate your clients on some basic things so that you're not spending your time doing it. For example, the book that I am releasing this month, I got it back from the editor this weekend. Oh, look, there's the kitty. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> My editor got it back to me, I guess it was Saturday, and I worked on it yesterday. I am now, I'm now letting it sit for a little bit. I'm going to read it one more time. And no, 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 no. Go over there. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and I will be laying it out and getting it ready to, uh, to upload to Amazon. You can actually pre-order it right now. 
You can go to Amazon. However, if you read the Amazon page, it says it's zero pages. That's because I haven't uploaded the manuscript yet. And I don't intend to until it's ready to go. I have until January 12th because the book drops on January 16th. And if you are interested in pre-ordering it, even though I haven't uploaded the manuscript, it costs 99 cents. And you know, secret, I'm going to be doing a freebie launch. So even if you pay 99 cents now, you won't pay it. You'll get it for free. So there you go. Um, anyway, you can use it as client education. So my first book, it's called, it all starts with an idea. And I have training for this. And in fact, you can, you can buy a course right now for $200 that teaches you the framework and moves you on into the editing, the outline phase. This is stuff that I can easily bring people into my world with them already having a basic piece of information of what I teach. That's, and you can also include it in your courses. You can say, hey, hey, here's my book. This will give you the foundations and then we'll, we'll work off the stuff you don't understand from the book or want to go deeper into. It's a great client education tool. Brand expansion. And I kind of alluded to this earlier. A book expands your brand into areas that you might not have had access to because it's now in, on Amazon and it's being called up by people who would never have found you on the internet but they found your book on Amazon. See, this is, this is Amazon's a like partnering with you to grow your business. It's not thinking of it that way, but that's exactly what they're doing. And then of course, there's what I teach primarily, and that's lead generation. If you do your book right, again, my, my book that's coming out this month will teach you how to do it right so that it becomes a lead attracting book. I also have a freebie right now called my quick start guide to writing your authority building short book. And that it's, it's the same framework. I teach the same framework in multiple ways because people are going to find it in multiple ways and they're going to understand it in multiple ways because no two brains are the same. We are all neurodivergent. So there you have it. We've got, you've got a unique networking tool, whether you have it on your person or not, you have it as a revenue inspiring stream client education, brand expansion, lead generation. Now I did a podcast last year where I went into all sorts of ways, creative ways that you can monetize your book. And I will drop the link to that um, somewhere around this video. But if you don't see it and you want to see that, it's a, it's a podcast, so it's free. Um, just drop in monetize in the comments and I will DM you the links that you don't have to go looking for it. This is the end of today's Coffee with Karma. And I will see you tomorrow when I will be sharing five reasons that I'm going to write a book a month this year. Should be interesting. And no, I'm not crazy. Well, maybe I am. But no, no, not because I'm writing a book a month. I'm just crazy. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Ciao.